Welcome Aquarius to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 2nd of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. Venus has been in your sector of relating since the 5th of June and of course went through that extended retrograde and does forge a sparkling alliance with Mars still this week. They're not in an exact sextile, just within three degrees and Mars is in the very dramatic adventurous ninth house if you are someone who loves to travel, get around, do things that are a bit rugged or outdoor, or conversely, have some kind of intellectual or hobby that connects you to others, your personality power can certainly be emphasised by that. But Mercury, of course, has been in the eighth house of your situation since the end of July. And the host of Virgo is a bit picky. And the eighth house can be what we share, can be around long-term finances, but it also can be about transformations. And in a psychological sense, perhaps you've had a, a greater appreciation than ever of the qualities of astrology or any other esoteric strand, because it is so fascinating. And the eighth house can be about mysteries and unlocking secrets. If you're someone who really loves those, uh, those crime sh shows where they use forensics to solve things, often years after the event, that's probably something that you've enjoyed too over the last 10 weeks. But Mercury is in an opposition with Neptune in the first half of this week. And it means that there can be some confusion around financial matters. When Mercury moves into Libra, your sister air sign on Thursday, on the face of it, that's a really good thing because that's going to bring a freer energy, uh, at the ninth house energy, where Mercury can just let some air in from the Libra uh, energy and air sign. And also it's about balance and fairness, which the ninth house can be about through its more Sagittarius vibe. It's just that your traditional ruler of Saturn applies a block to Mercury almost straight away in the second house. So that's everyday money. So even if you're hoping for Mercury going into Libra to provide an instant solution, it may still be there's something you're having to work away on that's requiring tenacity and application to solve. Why would I use those two words? Well, of course, because of jolly old Saturn moved into the second house for us Aquarius people on the 7th of March. And if since then, even if your own personal financial circumstances are not stretched, I can almost guarantee that your attitude to resources or your attitude to your own self-worth has come under greater personal scrutiny. So if you're tempted to splash out on something with Mercury moving into the ninth house, I would, and also Mars there in that link with Venus. So for example, spoil someone with a generous gift. I would say no at this stage. Let me explain a bit of a wider context. Although Venus and Mars are collaborating beautifully this week, as they have for a while, they actually both get into a tussle with Pluto. Mars is, is the most rugged uh, part of this equation because in the second half of the week, it's in a right angle with Pluto. Now, Pluto, for us Aquarians, it's 2008 in the 12th house. That's really been hard going at times. And there's probably been some dramatic revelations about people that just are really uh, have not been worthy uh, of you or I. Um, and it's been painful, a painful transformation, but also a time of learning a lot more about our vulnerabilities, frailties, our psychological dimension, but also becoming more inclusive about that, more, own it, more ownership of those frailties. But Mars goes right into a right angle with Pluto, and Pluto and the North Node have been in a right angle since the middle of July. So we have a T-square. Mars opposite North Node, Pluto squared, uh, T-square into both of them. And Mars and Pluto can be an explosive combination. They're both the rulers of Scorpio. But Mars in the ninth house is really demanding in quite a potent way that there is fairness. 
So it's in Libra, obviously technically it's debilitated here, but for you and me, what it's saying is it wants fairness, particularly around a contractual matter, a travel uh, a, a matter, anything to do with an agreement. And because Pluto is in that hidden part of the situation, if there is something that you feel passionately about, that you really, really have a, a lot of attachment to in terms of a principle, and you feel that someone's been using Plutonian energy in some ways in the way they've engaged with you, so being sneaky, manipulative, um, using um, the dark arts, maybe even a bit of jealousy in the mix, it's something that you're going to find very hard to tolerate this week. And even though Venus is saying to you, look Aquarius, try and keep things on an even keel. Obviously it's the ruler of Libra, so you've got three planets from Thursday in Libra, Venus in your seventh house, there's a lot of Libra in energy. But I think you may be a little bit tired, particularly with this long transit of Pluto in the twelfth house, of being always very fair and not getting it back so if you're seeing a, an injustice or an imbalance between the give and the get and it is in a situation where you feel someone's manipulating you in some way it could get explosive towards the end of this week and also with the quarter moon of uh, friday in the sign of of cancer for you the sixth house you have six ninth house energy so what happens with that is that our need to, to, to be a freedom fighter in a way, to speak our truth, competes where, with where we have to fulfill our obligations. But having Saturn and Neptune in the second house means that for quite some time, particularly with Neptune, I feel that you've been as generous as you possibly can to the people that you feel are important to you. So once more, that quarter moon is kind of encouraging you to not give away your power by by giving away your time, energy, commitment, uh, money, um, affection to someone you can't really trust. And that's the core of that Pluto 12th house energy. If you're dealing with someone who on one hand is kind of making out that they're coming over as an honest broker, but you feel with you know your detective max perception you know most of Christ people are brilliant armchair psychologists if you're feeling that someone isn't being up front you're going to tease it out this week and it could be quite quite intense but once it comes into the open being an air sign that can actually be a relief even if it's painful but I would say this is going to be an awkward week for everybody not just Aquarius people Thank you so much for joining me. I'd be honoured if you would like, comment or subscribe. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of a unique opportunity, year 2023 is speeding by, year 2024 is racing towards us. If you order your year 2024 personal horoscope forecast now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of year 23 free of charge, but you'll also get the whole of 24, plus in my special package of 30 percent off your character analysis report your life roadmap which will help you to uh, understand the patterns that have played out in your life so far and gain a much more intimate understanding of how to work with the energies that you were born with and each chart is totally unique to the person i prepare it for please see the link below for more information <music>